here in this parking lot, you can see tire marks left behind of exhibition driving and even rubber from those tires. Now, the only reason why we know it's happening in this parking lot is because the people who live in this high rise building have a view of it all happening every weekend at night. Around 4th of July weekend after 1130 at night, people living near 5th Avenue South were up recording this because they couldn't sleep. You can hear the loud cars speeding off. And see people hanging out of the window. Because this isn't just our little block and our building. They're racing all around downtown. Jessica Patterson has had enough. After 18 months, she's moving out of her apartment today. It was really when my, my friend's neighbor's dog was hit and I also have a pet and so we're out here walking. She's also afraid someone is going to get hurt or worse, die. And they're trying to attract people down here to downtown and this is just something where I feel like nobody's gonna wanna come down here. You know, that makes me sad. Right now, police can give citations for reckless driving, which is a misdemeanor. But what, how are they going to stop 40 cars? I mean, it sounds like an exaggeration, but I stood up on my balcony at 3 in the morning and counted. Tomorrow marks two months since Governor Ivey signed the exhibition driving law. This means people caught will be arrested, have their licenses revoked, car impounded, face jail time, and slapped with more serious charges like a felony, especially if someone gets hurt. The bill doesn't go into effect until August 1st, though. When that time comes, Patterson says this. I would like this to be a priority for the police force because I really feel like it impacts so many people. I got a chance to speak with Representative Alan Treadaway today over the phone, and he uh, had a had a hand in writing the exhibition driving bill. And he tells me while we wait for August 1st to come, he says law enforcement agencies across the state and court systems should be familiarizing themselves with this law. We're live in downtown Birmingham. I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.